Let's talk about basic concept of Bayesian prediction. Okay, let's take a very simple example. Sales predictions of newly opened convenience shop called Fremont Tonaka Branch. Okay, suppose that we have sales data of four consecutive days. Okay, each sales data is given by 120, 70, 80, and 130. Here we adopt as a monetary unit 10,000 Japanese yen. And our program is like this. Okay, we have four days sales data. And how much will be tomorrow's sales, which is denoted by Y? Now, in order to solve this problem, we make several assumptions for simplicity. The first one, the sales amount is independent for every day. So we do not care about time series analysis. The second one, empirically, sales amount per day is distributed according to Gaussian distribution with the average theta, which is unknown to us, and non-variance, which is denoted by S here. Finally, the average, the parameter theta, varies among branches. In other words, the average, sales average, depends on each coming shop, which is a very natural. So we write the formula for observation of sales amount from X1 to X4 is distributed according to the normal distribution unknown parameter theta and known variance S. Now we consider sales prediction. Okay, the first one, perhaps uh, she is not familiar to statistics, but she will answer like, tomorrow's sales will be around 1 million Japanese yen because the average sales is 100. But the term around is a bit obscure because it is a point prediction and she does not care about Gaussian model. Now let's go to the next person's answer. Now the next one, perhaps uh, he knows the parametric estimation and elementary statistics. Then she will calculate the estimate of the unknown parameter theta, which is denoted by theta hat and equal 100. This is just the average of four days sales. But then he will substitute the parameter theta with the estimate of 100. So we obtain a distribution of tomorrow's sales, which is called a predictive distribution. This is a Gaussian form. And here we note that distribution is better prediction than point prediction of the first person's answer. Finally, we consider Bayesian predictive distributions. For a manager who knows Bayesian predictive distributions, then 
she will consider a prior information. In this case, for example, average sales of the other convenience shops are uniformly distributed in the range of 70 to 90. In other words, the parameter theta, average sales, is usually between 70 and 90. So we can model this prior information as a piece of theta. To make a good prediction, we want to use this prior information. Now we come up with Bayesian predictive distribution. This is a formula of Bayesian predictive distribution. So please see the PY given theta. This is a Gaussian distribution here, but the parameter theta is unknown. So we take the average with respect to theta, multiplied with the posterior distribution. This posterior distribution, in other words, this is a conditional distribution of the parameter theta, which is given by this formula by Bayes theorem. And many fields take advantage of Bayesian predictive distributions. Now we demonstrate how to calculate Bayesian predictive distributions. Okay, suppose that we have a statistical model of the past data. Here, we have single observation x and assume a normal distribution with the unknown parameter theta and known variance. And then we set a prior distribution of the parameter theta. Again, we adopt the normal distribution which is actually a conjugate prior of the normal distribution model. Here, uh, the V hyperparameter is assumed to be known. We fix the parameter V. And finally, we set a statistical model of the future outcome. Here, this distribution is the same as the past data. Okay. Given these probability distributions, we can calculate Bayesian predictive densities explicitly. Now let's see the calculation step. The first step, we calculate the posterior distribution pi of theta given x. This is a posterior distribution of theta given the past data x, which is Gaussian distribution because we use conjugate prior. Then we can use formula of conjugate prior and the parameter w and theta is given by this formula. Here, V, S, and X is given. And the second step, we calculate Bayesian predictive densities. So let's see this integral. Py given theta, this is a statistical model a probability distribution of the future outcome. And we take the average of theta with respect to the posterior distribution. We can write more explicitly in this example. This is a Gaussian and this posterior is also Gaussian. So we can calculate this integration, 
This is very straightforward. And the final result is given by also Gaussian distribution. So you can easily follow this calculation. Okay, now this is a summary of Bayesian predictive distributions. We have the formula of Bayesian predictive distributions and we introduced the idea or concept of Bayesian predictive distributions. This is a simple application of Bayesian statistics. And we make two remarks. The first one, we uh, use both prior information and actual data to predict or construct Bayesian predictive distribution. This is a very important property because usually we often focus on only on actual real data. And we, uh, well, some people do not care about the additional prior information on the parameter or prior information. But in Bayesian setting, Bayesian predictive distributions, we can easily use additional information on the parameter theta. And this is a very natural to consider in this above setting because coming shop, we have often additional information on the average data. And the second remark, usually Bayesian predictive distribution has broader tail than the true distribution. It is theoretically very attractive nature because this uh, broader tail reflects our uncertainty on the parameter theta. 